Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The speed greater than 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5 is called hypersonic speed. Hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given these weapons speeds, maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. There are mainly two types of hypersonic missiles, a hypersonic cruise missile which is powered by engines throughout its flight and a hypersonic boost glide missile which is boosted to hypersonic speeds by rockets and then glides through the atmosphere to reach to its target using a lift from the airflow to maneuver. The hypersonic cruise missile would be powered by a special scramjet or supersonic combustion ramjet engines which are still in development. Scramjets operate by burning fuel in stream of supersonic air that is compressed by forward speed of the aircraft and unlike conventional jet engines, scramjet have no moving parts. At present, the countries that have tested scramjet engines are Russia with 3M22 Zekron and USA with HAWC and India HSTDV and China. Talking about DRDO's HSTDV or Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle Program which is a scramjet vehicle has capability to travel at a speed of 6 Mach or 6 times that of sound. The scramjets are variant of jet engines called the air breathing engines. These engines do not work in stall condition and need to be first carried at supersonic speed to make them work. The air entering the vehicle needs to be supersonic. The ability of engines to handle air flows having speed in multiples of the speed of sound gives it a capability of operating at those speeds. The hypersonic technology involves a launch vehicle and a cruise vehicle. Hypersonic cruise vehicle is placed atop a ballistic missile booster or a short term rocket system and boosted to a high Mach number. This is when aerodynamic heat shield separates and the scramjet engine of hypersonic cruise vehicle start functioning and it gets separated from the launch vehicle. The hypersonic cruise vehicle after detaching itself from the launcher travels at hypersonic speed using the scramjet engine. If hypersonic glider is used instead of the hypersonic cruise vehicle, it will use the lift generated by the airflow to stay afloat and maneuver and does not have engine to power it. Now let's talk about DRDO's preparation for the upcoming hypersonic technology. Looking at the latest procurement being made by DRDO via various tenders, it seems that DRDO is preparing for its fourth hypersonic tech demonstration vehicle, prototype HS04. A similar procurement was made last year and it was expected for third hs prototype HS03. However, DRDO has been tight-lipped about the third test. Recently, DRDO has initiated the procurement of canonical sections for the adapter assembly of hs 3 dv HS04. If we talk about the previous test, which was on 7th September 2020, DRDO has launched the hs 3 dv calling it a giant leap in indigenous defense technologies. The test has put India into selected clubs of nation who have demonstrated this technology. India has become fourth country after US, Russia and China to demonstrate this technology. It is considered as one of the greatest achievements of India in past 40 years. The hypersonic cruise vehicle was launched using a proven solid rocket motor which took it uh, to an altitude of 30 km where the aerodynamic heat shields were separated at hypersonic Mach number. The cruise vehicle separated from the launch vehicle and air intake opened as planned. The hypersonic combustion sustained and the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of 6 times of the speed of sound that is nearly 2 km per second for more than 20 seconds. In summary, this scramjet engine was flight tested for 20 seconds achieving the speed of Mach 6. A hypersonic vehicle has a huge potential in both military and civil applications. It can be upscaled and used as a hypersonic missile. With its hypersonic speed, it will pose a big challenge for interception. The scramjet engine could be used in civilian passenger air transportation as well. It can cut down the time of travel from India to US by one sixth. Hypersonic vehicles can also put satellites into the orbit at a low cost. DRDO has planned to develop two hypersonic cruise missiles based on the hs technology. First one is surface-to-surface -surface missile with a range around 2500 km expected to enter service by 2024 to 25. 
The second one is smaller and compact version of hypersonic missile with a range around 700 kilometers that can be launched from an aircraft. Now developing the hypersonic technology again is a very challenging task where scientists have to manage the atmospheric drag. As the weapon pushes through the air, it faces resistance proportional to its speed. Drags slows down the weapon and in particular problematic in gliders as they don't have engines to power them. Drag also contributes to increase the temperature of the aircraft as well as surrounding air. This heating can be so intense at hypersonic speeds that it can cause surrounding air to ionize and become chemically reactive. This ionized air can degrade the weapon's surface. Moreover, an object flying at a speed faster than speed of sound generates a moving layer of dense air known as shock wave. At hypersonic speed, these shock waves make a narrow angle with weapon's direction of motion and almost hugs the weapon, forcing the temperature chemically unstable air to come in close contact with weapon's surface. These factors threaten the weapon's integrity and thus pose significant challenges for designing hypersonic missiles. The development of hypersonic missile has head started a new age arms race for hypersonic weapons. All the major players in this weapons race have had some success in developing a boost glide missile as well as testing their scramjet technologies. However, China, North Korea, Russia and US are the only countries that have successfully tested a hypersonic cruise missile. It remains to be seen how other and India catches up and also how the non-proliferation of hypersonic missile will be approached. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.